crap? Damn, why are we doing an Escaflone redub? Nikazumi knows a lot. Nikazumi hits a spot. Nikazumi does reviews. And he hopes you like them too. In all his animated glory, he'll talk about another story. So this is a thing that's happening. Escaflone is getting a Blu-ray release. That's not really that surprising. I mean, a lot of classic anime from the uh, 80s and 90s are getting re-released these days, and some of the more beloved ones are getting DVD releases. Also, it's not that surprising that Funimation is doing it, because a lot of Bandai Entertainment's old stock had to get bought out by somebody, and Funimation is going to grab a lot of the more popular shows. What doesn't make sense to me is the method that they're using to fund this new version of Escaflone and why they need this funding. See, for the Blu-ray release of Escaflone, Funimation has started up a Kickstarter. A Kickstarter so that they can not only re-release Escaflone on Blu-ray, but record an entirely new English dub. Weird. Okay, so, for the record, uh, I have been a huge fan of A Vision of Escaflone for a very long time. To be honest, I'm not even sure if I'm the target demographic for this, since I already bought it when I was in middle school. Then I bought the DVDs, so I've already bought it twice. God, I even went out of my way to get these things. Well, these weren't exactly easy to find. What I'm getting at here is that maybe this might be a motivating factor. Okay, new dub. So for all the, those people out there who bought it twice, we are going, we'll have an excuse to buy it again. But the reasoning that Funimation is, claims that they're using doesn't really add up to me. See, Funimation's claim is that because they are releasing a full, uncut, ultimate edition of Escaflone, they, that the uh, Blu-ray footage doesn't match with the old dub. How does that work? No, seriously, how does that work? I don't understand. See, I don't get it either. It just seems like a really bizarre thing. Like, how many people who watched Escaflone originally, or rather, who watched Escaflone dubbed in the first place this many years later are going to be like, yeah, I'm not nostalgic for that anymore. That's the only reason I usually watch old dubs anyway, is that I'm nostalgic for it. Then again... I mostly watch my anime on Hulu, and then if I really like it, I buy it, so I don't wa watch a lot of dubbed anime in the first place, so maybe I'm the wrong person to ask. Now, there are some people involved in this dub that I can't say anything too awful about it, because I like the people involved in it. Caitlin Glass is playing Hitomi. I love Caitlin Glass. She's a wonderful person and a really talented actress. I dare you to tell me that she's not great. Alexis Tipton is another great person. I got to meet her once, and she's also super talented. And while I've never met Aaron Dismuke, who's going to be the new Vaughn, not a bad casting choice. Really solid actor right there. The other, and I'll have to admit, a lot of people are curious if Crispin Freeman is going to be involved, since for the last 10 years or so, he's been really vocal about the fact that he wanted to play Alan Shazar. Would it be great if Crispin finally got to play Alan? Yeah, that'd be cool. But on the other hand, something about this just stinks to me, you guys. I like a lot of these actors, but Funimation has had a kind of loose relationship with the truth, especially when it comes to home video releases. Anyone in the hardcore Dragon Ball fandom will know what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, it was totally widescreen this whole time, you guys. We're not cutting the top and bottom off. So now here I am, looking at what really just seems like a strange sort of cash grab for nostalgic old anime fans. Like, 
why does this exist? And am I just not the right demographic for this? Let me know in the comments. Do you like Escaflone? Do you want a new Escaflone dub? Do you, st do you still watch dubs? Start a conversation. We'd love to hear from you here at Fifth Avenue Studios. But until next time, keep on spocking in the free world.